Hi everybody, Jesse here from jessiebanks.com. Long time no see. Welcome back to another video. Today's video I am featuring this fun step stamp set from Lawn Fawn. I haven't done a Lawn Fawn card in a very, very long time. Their stamps are always adorable and I'm always like, I love them. And then I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But um, I've come into this in the last few years, like really clean and simple. I like one layer cards. I like doing things like that. And these stamp sets really lend themselves to that. So I'm hoping that I'm going to pick up some more because I really like them. I did stamp them all out ahead and cut them out using Simon Says Stamp masking paper in order to build our fun little scene here. And I'm using um, my favorite things, Extreme Black Ink, to do all of our stamping. So I hope everybody's been super well. Um, I've been busy. Uh, my boyfriend or my fiance and his son now live here. His son's going to fire school. My son had baseball and now football season's almost starting. I just got home from camping this morning. My head is in the way, so that hasn't changed. Um, but we've been really, really busy and I've had a lot on my plate and I really haven't even spent any time in the craft room. It's been all I could do to get my design team work done so far this summer. So I'm really, I was actually telling the other half while we were having coffee the other day at the campsite that I need to make a point of getting down into the craft room more often because it really starts, it really makes me feel calm and I really enjoy it. And I just kind of need to put that time into relaxing and spending time in my craft room instead of just go, 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 and sitting on the couch watching TV. Because honestly, I hate sitting on the couch watching TV and I've been doing it for like a month simply because Kevin's on the couch and Dalen's here and Caleb's here. And then I'm just like, well, I guess I should sit and watch TV with you. And now I'm like, no, you guys want to watch TV? You watch TV. I'm going downstairs and you're going to get over it. So we ink blended our ground there just to kind of give it a sandy look. And now I'm just cutting a little scrap to make a straight line to add our water. I am using distress oxides for all of the ink blending here. I'm going to link as much of the products as I can remember in the description box below. Um, if something's not there, I'm super sorry. I filmed this video like a month and a half ago and we're attempting to do a voiceover now. So it's a little bit bit all over the place because I don't re really remember what I did and I'm not even 100% sure where the card is to be honest to even have it in front of me to look at so I pulled out the little wave stencil from MFT just to add in some waves to make sure that I can tell the difference between the waves and the sky because they're both going to be blue and I do Oh, I take that mask and I just flip it around to mask off the um, water there. The distress oxides are still slightly wet, so I am going to have to hold it just to get it going. But that will work perfectly fine for me. I'm starting off with Broken China here as a base for all of our sky. And then I'm going to come back in with the Salty Ocean. It will give it a little bit of a different look than the water simply because we're laying it over top of... Um, the broken china so it gives it a little more of a greeny hue than what I used in the water it works really well for me this stencil right here this is the mini cloud stencil from MFT they also have a larger um, cloud stencil and those two stencils I use all the time they're probably two of my favorite stencils out of my entire stash and I have lots because I have a problem you don't need to have the same problem I have but I need to have all the stencils so we're going to do my favorite thing here now and remove all of our masks so we can reveal the white of the paper underneath of everything and jump in with our Copic markers. So when we start coloring here, we're going to start off with our fox and I'm going to start with the white on his face as well as the white of his tail. Just coming in with my W markers and blending them out. When I do my Copic coloring, I like to color dark to light. I do it all in one coat. I don't feel a need to go light to dark and then back. Um, it's personal preference and it's whatever you get used to while you're coloring and whatever you get used to doing as you're learning how to color and how heavy you handed you are with your markers. There are sometimes if I'm a little uneasy about where I need to put shadows and things, I will take my lightest color and map in my shadows and then work from dark to light just to make sure I'm putting shadows where I want them instead of putting a dark color somewhere and then being like, crud, I want that to be light because then it's a pain to fight with. So we're working on our little fox here and I came in with E19 now I'm into E99 and I'm just blending them all together just to give him that warm yellowy ready type fur that he has. 
I really love this little guy. He's like vegging on his beach towel and he's like what I did for the last four days. It's fantastic. So we're just blending that all together and then we will jump into uh, his beach towel, which we are going to, I do a little rainbow stripey deal on the beach towel, starting with red and then I do yellow, blue and purple and I leave um, every other stripe white just so that the towel didn't feel too busy against him in the background. I kind of wanted to break it up a little bit with leaving a white stripe in between every color on the towel. I also added a little bit of that pink to his ears just to give it a little bit of a pink hue. I do have to remind myself to talk slower than I normally do. I talk really fast, just in general. I don't know. Maybe I just feel like I don't have enough time to say what I need to say sometimes. I'm not even sure. I'm reading way too much into that. I talk fast. And I try and slow down. And I always get comments and messages and emails and things about how you talk so fast. You talk so fast. I'm sorry. I really am. But it's really hard to talk slower when I'm used to speaking as fast as I do. It just kind of has become habit. Um, I'm trying to break it and I'm hoping that I will get better at slowing down when I do my voiceovers, but I'm feeling really rusty too coming into this card because I haven't done much of anything. Oh, maybe I'm going to make it dark in between all the lines. I'm not even sure. That's what happens when you film something a month and a half ago and then decide to voice it over and put it on YouTube. So anyway, I, like I said, I'm going to be spending more time down here, which should lead into more videos for you guys. I'm really hoping I need to get more consistent on that. I love making YouTube videos. It's not even about having a certain number of views or a certain number of people subscribe to me or anything of that nature. I genuinely make videos because I like making them. I enjoy the filming process. I enjoy editing the video and I like talking 500 miles a minute into a microphone pretending like somebody is on the other side of it. Yes. Because if you didn't know what I was doing, you'd probably think I'm crazy right now. I even like, I talk with my hands. I have a whole conversation with you guys. It's like a great big dramatic ordeal and nobody else is in the basement with me except for myself and sometimes the cat. So... <laughs> I decided to do um, his umbrella to match his beach towel and go rainbow as well. Um, so I'm doing red, yellow. I'm probably going to put green in there because there's room for green this time. I left orange out, so I'm assuming that means I put green in. Yeah. And then blue and purple, of course. So we're just working our way through blending. Um, I did speed this video up two, three times its original speed. So I wish I could color and ink blend and do all of the things this fast. This card took me about, well, I had about 30 minutes of footage when I imported it all into the computer um, to edit down for you guys. So it really didn't take all that long considering how many colors and that it was one white piece of paper when we started. Um, but I find it fun. I don't mind sometimes when cards take me two and three hours to complete simply because I'm enjoying the process and enjoying making them. So it's always easier when you're liking what you're doing, right? Going in with the purple. I'm not even sure what to talk about anymore. I hope everybody else has been having a fantastic summer. Let's go there. Summer has been great. The weather has been awesome. The garden is growing. It's full of weeds. The garden's two hours away, so cut me some slack. We only get up there every so often. Um, but the boys are here. Dalen's in firefighting school. Caleb's enjoying summer holidays went camping. It's just, it's been great. And I hope everybody else has had a great summer as well. Um, be it whatever you choose to do with your summer. I hope you get to have a little bit of time to enjoy it outside of work. Um, cause I've been working like crazy. I was supposed to take two weeks off this summer and it was August long weekend. Well, it is August long weekend. It's a holiday Monday. Um, but I was supposed to take two weeks off and I ended up taking Thursday and Friday. So it went from two weeks to two days, but that's all right. So we're going to stamp our sentiment down here at the bottom and it says to my foxy friend. Then I'm going to take my Copic multi liner and I'm going to outline the entire thing, but I don't make you watch that because that would be painfully slow. Just going to add him onto the top of a top folding card and I'm going to come in with a Conti white pencil. This is like a pastel pencil and I'm just going to add some highlights to our clouds as well as I do believe to where the water and the sky meet each other. 
Kind of looks like a stormy sky now that I look at it, but that's okay. Just blend it out a little bit with the tip of my finger. Make sure that we have a line defining between water and sky there. It just helps kind of break it up a little bit. And that is it for the card, you guys. So if you are new to the channel, I would love for you to subscribe. I promise there'll be more videos. If you did enjoy, please give me a thumbs up.